A cordial greeting. Today is Wednesday, August 19, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. Here at Hurricane Info we continue monitoring the cyclonic activity we have in the Atlantic. First, we are watching the progress of Hurricane Aaron, which has begun to take that turn toward the north-northwest and will eventually be passing between North Carolina and the island of Bermuda. Meanwhile, on the other hand, in the Eastern Caribbean we are closely monitoring the evolution of two tropical waves, the first is located near longitude 40 degrees west. The second is more organized and is located just southwest of the Cape Verde Islands, which was designated yesterday as Invest 99. In this video I will be talking about the forecast for the two tropical waves that we are monitoring in the tropical Atlantic region. For interest in the Bahamas, the eastern United States and Bermuda in relation to Hurricane Aaron, I invite you to stay tuned because I will record another video tonight to update this forecast. Let's then take a closer look at the tropical Atlantic area. The first tropical wave continues very disorganized. It has a fairly broad circulation that has prevented it from achieving cyclonic organization. And although in recent days the model showed the potential for it to pass as a tropical cyclone through the northeastern Caribbean, the reality is that during the last 24 hours, we continue seeing very favorable trends toward having a much weaker system and also taking a trajectory farther from the Caribbean. So this is definitely good news. And later I will show you the most recent projections from the global models. I will also talk about the rain that is anticipated this weekend for the northern half of the Lesser Antilles in Puerto Rico. On the other hand, the next tropical wave or Invest 99 looks very healthy in the infrared satellite animation. And last night, the National Hurricane Center marked this area with up to a 30% probability of cyclonic development during the next 48 hours. In the latest tropical outlook at 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center maintains the probability of development of the tropical wave located near longitude 45 degrees west at 60%. But a very significant change that we saw compared to previous days, is that the area of possible cyclonic development has moved away from the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico in response to the changes we have seen in the projections. So this has definitely reduced the risk for the Northeastern Caribbean, although we must continue to pay attention to its evolution. There is the possibility that at 8 p.m. the National Hurricane Center may slightly decrease the probabilities of cyclonic development, so we will be watching for that new outlook. Meanwhile, at 2 p.m. they maintain the probability of development of Invest 99 at 30%, specifically in 48 hours. Notice that the area of possible cyclonic development is quite small, and this is because starting Friday the conditions in the tropical Atlantic will not be very favorable for it to achieve cyclonic organization. Now then, this means that the window for cyclonic development will be during the next two days. If we talk a little about the projections of the track models, notice that Invest 99 should maintain a west and southwest movement during the next three to four days. And although it might seem that this trajectory represents a long-term threat to the Caribbean, fortunately, notice that the projection of the intensity models, although some of them develop a tropical storm during the next 24 hours, beginning Thursday they start weakening the system and it is very likely that it will not be able to strengthen much later this week. However, judging by how it looks in the infrared satellite animation, there is the possibility that at 8 p.m. the probabilities of development could increase and that a tropical depression or weak short-lived tropical storm could form in this area. So, why will the two disturbances we are monitoring apparently not achieve significant development like we saw with Hurricane Aaron? This is because dry and stable air has descended from the mid-latitudes into the tropical Atlantic, and everything seems to indicate that it is interfering with the cyclonic development of both disturbances. In fact, look in the following image at the green areas with high moisture, which currently cover both disturbances. And look at all the dry air located to the north and northwest of these tropical waves. Notice the change that happens in about 48 hours. The first tropical wave could be approaching the Lesser Antilles, but dry air could be interfering with its circulation. Also, look at Invest 99, where the American model projects that dry air will descend from the northeast and impact the circulation with wind shear and it is very likely that this stable air will enter the circulation. In fact, this is why the probability of development is only 48 hours. Now let's look at what the global model runs show. Let's start with the American model. In about 24 hours it develops a tropical depression or weak tropical storm associated with Invest 99, while keeping the other tropical wave quite weak as it moves west-northwest. During Friday night it dissipates Invest 99, while slightly strengthening the first tropical wave, but already passing 100 to 150 miles northeast of the Caribbean to eventually continue its track toward the north and perhaps in the future approach the island of Bermuda. So the trend continues to be very favorable. For example, Look at previous runs where the American model had a tropical cyclone moving over the northeastern Caribbean. However, now it only projects a strong tropical wave that can bring some showers over the northern half of the Lesser Antilles and over Puerto Rico. For example, according to the latest projection from the American model, 
for the northern half of the Lesser Antilles between 2 and up to 4 inches of rain could accumulate during this weekend. Now look at the European model projection in about 24 hours. It has Invest 99 and the tropical wave. As the days go by, and toward the end of this week, it basically dissipates Invest 99 and keeps the first tropical wave very weak as it moves away from the northeastern Caribbean. At least in the latest run it does not achieve cyclonic development. And for this reason it is possible that the probabilities of cyclonic development of this first tropical wave decrease in the next tropical outlook from the National Hurricane Center. In fact, if the European model projection is fulfilled, it will be passing away from the Lesser Antilles. In that case, notice that the heaviest rain would remain over the Atlantic without significant effects over the Lesser Antilles or Puerto Rico. Now let's look at the German model projection. It has a panorama quite similar to the other models. In this afternoon's run it does not develop Invest 99 and has the first tropical wave passing away from the northeastern Caribbean, but in about 4-5 to five days it develops it to the north of Puerto Rico. On the other hand, the United Kingdom model has perhaps a tropical depression associated with the first wave, passing about 150 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles. So the trends continue indicating that the probabilities of cyclonic development of this tropical wave probably will not be until it passes north of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, where it may have some chance of development. In addition, each time the projections show it passing farther from the arc of the Lesser Antilles, this is precisely what the ensemble of the European model shows us. It is not until Sunday that some members develop the first tropical wave, but already when it is located north of Puerto Rico. Meanwhile, most of them dissipate Invest 99 in about 48 hours. Something very similar is seen in the ensemble projection of the American model and the few members that achieve some type of cyclonic development of the first tropical wave. First, they keep it away from the Caribbean and do not develop it until it is located north-northeast of the Caribbean. And while some develop Invest 99, also in about 48 to 72 hours they dissipate the disturbance in the center of the tropical Atlantic. Now we have this new product where the projection of artificial intelligence models is shown. Notice that it does not develop Invest 99. The first tropical wave is developed when it is located northeast of the Caribbean and with a trajectory far from the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. So here at Hurricane Info I will continue monitoring the first tropical wave and Invest 99. But the message tonight is that residents of the Eastern Caribbean for the moment can be calm because the trends are favorable. The first tropical wave will probably pass toward the northeast of the region, and, although Invest 99 could develop during the next 48 hours, it should eventually encounter unfavorable conditions for development thanks to a lot of dry and stable air entering the circulation. Well, that's all for this forecast update. Remember that the next video will be to talk about Hurricane Aaron and the effects it will have across the eastern United States, the Bahamas and the island of Bermuda. And before I go I wanted to ask you to give a like to this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent night. So, until the next video.